So today we're covering some of the most aggravating H words that could be affecting your health. And if you're stricken with this next H word, you can't even say it. It's hoarseness. And listen closely to Nancy from Northridge, California, who suffers from this. <coughs> Whenever I get a cold or a cough, I get better quickly. But then I get hoarse for weeks after. Why does this happen and what can I do to prevent it? Well, you can hear it in her voice. Yes, right? you well, can. You know, Nancy, colds, upper respiratory, upper respiratory tract infections are really one of the biggest causes of hoarseness. What you're getting is so-called laryngitis. What's laryngitis? It's inflammation of your vocal cords. And we have a picture to show you here. On the left, you're seeing normal vocal cords are white. They're very distinct. On the, on the right-hand side, you see they're red, inflamed, they're boggy. That's lar acute laryngitis, and that's what makes, makes you hoarse. But there's a lot of other reasons you can get hoarseness that you don't normally think of. Acid reflux mm -hmm. is another one, that things are coming up from, from the stomach through the esophagus, irritating your vocal mm -hmm. cords. Allergies, irritants that you may be breathing in, chronic coughing. You're bringing stuff up that's irritating your vocal cords. And again, if you have repeated upper respiratory infections or colds, you may be getting uh, a lot of laryngitis. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to take care of those vocal cords. Don't do anything that's irritating. So if you're a smoker, stop smoking. Drinking is not good. Make sure that you stay hydrated. That means avoiding anything that dehydrates you, like caffeine, things like that. And uh, make sure that you keep those vocal cords nice and hydrated. If you have laryngitis, take a warm, hot shower, breathe in that steam, use a humidifier. And sometimes resting your vocal cords is not a bad idea.